BG Mythbusters features reenactments and interviews regarding many of the city of Bowling Green's myths. The city of Bowling Green encourages citizens to engage themselves in these topics and others by calling 393-3642 with comments and concerns. Enjoy. We've all been driving through the city at one time or another and had to drive over a metal plate in the road. It doesn't make for a very smooth ride and has become one of life's little annoyances. In this episode of BG Mythbusters, we'll be speaking with someone from the Public Works Department about the real purpose of these temporary bumps. What the heck is up with your road? I don't know. That thing just showed up one day. Sounds just like the city. They always take their sweet time fixing things. I don't even know what it's there for. And plus, it's been there forever. If I were you, I'd be calling them and finding out why it's there and when they're getting rid of it. Lucky for me, I have them on speed dial now. Thank you for joining me today, David. No problem. Most of us have encountered these pesky metal plates in the streets. Can you explain the purpose of these metal plates on the roadways? We put those down in a lot of uh, busy areas where when we have a street cut, because what the contractors do when they cut the street is they fill it up with rock. So the rock will get washed out when people drive over it quite a bit and everything. So we put the plate over top of that to make sure that they don't have, we don't have that issue. Because when the rock washes out, then we have, we could have cars damaged and things like that. Um, a lot of times also, we put plates on street cuts in the winter time because asphalt is not being produced. Is the city of Bowling Green responsible for these street cuts and metal plates? The, the city of Bowling Green, we, we get a permit for each contractor that does a street cut. So we have record of every street cut in the city. Um, the utility companies are the main ones that do the street cuts, BGMU, Atmos Energy, sometimes AT&T. Uh, when they do cuts, it's, uh, they give us a permit for each location. We have inspections we go out and do, make sure that they're cut and, and repaired to our specifications. So we have record, but we're not the ones that do the cuts. Especially to those of us who drive the same roads every day, mm -hmm. it can seem like these metal plates are there forever. Can you explain to me why it sometimes takes so long for these metal plates to get patched up again? It depends. Uh, sometimes when the contractor does a cut, it's a temporary fill where they'll have to get back into it. Um, you know, say they're doing a big project and that's the last portion of the cut. They'll, they'll plate it because they're not going to do a final repair since they're going to have to open it back up before they do the final repair. So they'll put the plate on there so they can get back into it easier. And also, like I was mentioning, in the winter time, usually around the week before Christmas or so, uh, the asphalt company closes for the winter. And they don't usually open back up until March or so, uh, depending on when the weather warms back up. So um, you'll see plates more in the winter because of that. because. If they didn't do that, they'd have to keep putting rock and keep putting rock, you know, once a week or so to maintain the cut. So it's less maintenance on their part and less of a chance of having an incident with a, you know, car hitting a street cut that's been washed out, you know. What if I want to find out who has made street cuts and what their timeline is? Who can I contact? You can call the city at 393-3000 and uh, just say that you have a question about a street cut. They'll get you in touch with me. I'm the one that maintains the permits and everything, and I'll I'll look it up and get in touch with whoever did the street cut, and you know make whatever changes that we need to for that. I guess this is just one of the things we have to deal with to enjoy modern conveniences. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. I mean, the reason why they do cuts is because there's you know if it's a water line that's leaking that they have to repair. You can't just let it leak, you know, or a gas line that's leaking or something like that. Unfortunately, that's part of modern technology that we have to deal with. Well, thank you for all the great information today, David. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> I can see some things in your neighborhood never change. I know, but I did call the city and found out the hole can't be repaired until it gets warmer outside. The utility company made the repairs, but the asphalt company can't fill the hole until it's warmer. So it wasn't the city that was making the repairs? No. Sometimes they do, but mostly it's other agencies that need to make repairs to the utility lines. Well, you know, utilities are necessary. I guess I can complain a little bit less about our first world problems. Yeah, it's tough out here in the suburbs. As you can see, there are many reasons for street cuts and many agencies that make them. 
Unfortunately, the street cuts can't always be filled as quickly as we would like due to weather and other circumstances. If you would like more information on street cuts or other road concerns, please call 393-3642.